Good morning, Hudson High, and welcome back to another episode of HRPN News. In today's show, we will get a chance to see Kelvin and Devin's Thanksgiving-themed questionnaire. And then we will take a look at Max and Isaiah's Winter Weather FIAD Report. All that with weather and sports coming up next. Hello, I'm Austin Mead. And I'm Josiah Olson. Welcome to HRPN Friday News. First up, here are today's announcement. Today's for lunch, beef gyro. Today there is turkey bingo for cohort B in your advisories. And swimming, swimming, wrestling, basketball are starting November 23rd. And now to Calvin and Devin for their report on strange Thanksgiving themed questionnaire. What's your favorite food? Um, my favorite Thanksgiving food would probably have to be just a turkey leg. Turkey leg? Yeah. Um, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Uh, turkey. Good choice. And then white or dark meat? White. Alrighty. Thank you. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, what's your What's your favorite food for Thanksgiving? Mashed potatoes, definitely. With gravy or not? Yes, with gravy. gravy Good with gravy. man, alrighty. And then, uh, white or dark meat? Uh, white. Alrighty, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, favorite Thanksgiving traditions, like with your family or anything? Uh, basically we just eat pumpkin pie all, every year. Sounds like a great time. Um, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Uh, mashed potatoes. Alright, and then light or dark meat? Uh, Lightning. Alrighty, thank you. What's your favorite thing to have for dinner? Oh, probably stuffing. That's my favorite part. Good stuff. White or dark meat? Um, white. Okay, thank you. What's your uh, Thanksgiving, what is your favorite Thanksgiving food? Mmm, spaghetti. Spaghetti? In Hayward. In Hayward? Mm -hmm. At home, turkey. Nice. Mm -hmm. Do you like dark meat or white meat? Uh, I gotta go with white meat. White meat? Why white meat? Uh, it just tastes good. Just tastes good? Yep. Okay. Do you like dark meat or white meat? Dark. Dark? Why dark? It just tastes better. Just tastes better? Yeah. Oh. What is your favorite Thanksgiving uh, food? Uh, this, well, my family always has Chinese food Thanksgiving, so definitely Chinese food. Chinese food? Oh yeah. Alright. Alright. Are you gonna eat like dark meat or white meat? Uh, white meat. White meat? Yeah. Why? Uh, because it tastes better. Because it tastes better? Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Mashed potatoes. With gravy or not? Uh, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Mashed potatoes. With gravy or not? Gravy. Good stuff. Alrighty. You guys have. Um. Does your family have any like? What is it? Thanksgiving traditions. Thanksgiving traditions. Uh yes. Every Thanksgiving we go to either my grandparents' house in Missouri or my grandparents' house in Andover, and we have a nice big meal and then. We just watch football and hang out with uh, family. Do you have any special Thanksgiving traditions? Uh, not really. Um, I'm just gonna do Thanksgiving at my house this year and invite some family. So. Okay. Do you have any special Thanksgiving traditions? Uh, we go up to my grandma's house every year. That's pretty much it. Alrighty. Is that like some some place up north? Uh, that's uh, Elk Mom, right by Oak Park. Alrighty. Uh, do you have any? Special Thanksgiving tradition? Not really. We go to my grandma's house. Alrighty, uh, we'll.
So, what, uh, do you have any Thanksgiving tradition? Um, well, usually some of my family comes over and we have dinner. I think that's about it. So, what is your uh, Thanksgiving tradition? Um, my family likes to eat a lot of food at my dad's and we'll also go to Hayward. Uh, do you have any plans for Thanksgiving break? Um, normally I would go up to my um, cousin's house up down in Kansas, but not. I think we're just going to stay at home this year. Alrighty. Um, do you have any plans for Thanksgiving break? Um, normally I would go up to my um, cousin's house up down in Kansas, but not. I think we're just going to stay at home this year. Alrighty. Are you excited for Endure? Why? Uh, yeah, because I like just like snowball fights and building snowmen. Snowball fights and building snowmen? Yep. Alrighty. Do you, do you like, do you, are you excited for winter and why? Uh, yeah, because then I can go sledding and drink hot cocoa with my friends. Drink hot cocoa with your friends? Yep. Yep. Is that fun? Yep. Alright. Are you excited for winter or not? I am excited for winter. What are you going to do in winter? Um, I'm probably going to go skiing a lot. Skiing? Yeah. That'll be fun. That would be fun. Alright. Are you excited about the snow coming? Yeah. I'm trying to build a hockey rink in my backyard. Alrighty, good stuff. Is that that's your favorite thing to do in the snow? Yep. Okay. okay. Thank you. Alrighty. Stick and puck with the boys. <laughs>
All right, thank you. All right, and now we're here with Coach Dato, another one of the FIAD coaches. So how has COVID affected your FIAD classes so far? Uh, it has affected my classes based on the fact that I have a lot less kids in person, a lot of kids online that are having to access presentations and having to do things a little bit more virtually in, in, and self-motivated on their own. Um, kids in person wear masks and we go about our business the same as we always have. Uh, so we, we're still doing activities inside and have done them outside but uh, if we're not able to keep our distance outside we have to to wear our masks if we're inside uh, we're always wearing our masks so it doesn't matter what we're doing all right and with winter fast approaching how do you think that is also going to affect FIAD class uh, a little bit less time to take our masks off outside because uh, our units are pretty much done outside. However, we're going to continue with most of our units that we normally have done in the past with some modifications. But um, for the most part, we're just going to keep pressing on with the curriculum that we have known for the past. All right. Thank All you. Right. And now we're here with Dominic DeBruzzi, a student in Coach Jillick's FIAD class. So how do you think gym class is going to change with winter fast approaching? Well, I think we already have, you know, little kids to play with for outdoor sports. And now we're going to be stuck inside. Um, it'll be a little harder, hopefully. Um, we can still get some fun games in, keep active and stay warm. All right. Thanks, Dominic. Right. And now we're here with Alex Behrens, uh, another FIED student. So, Alex, how do you think FIAD class will change with winter fast approaching? Well, winter is cold, so we probably won't go outside that much. And snow, snow gets stuff wet, as you know. So that's another reason we won't go outside. And winter is cold. All right. Thanks, Alex. Well, there you have it. COVID and winter will greatly affect our FIAD classes. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Max and Isaiah. We will be back with more news right after this. Welcome back. As Thanksgiving approaches, we are expecting to see some changes in the weather. Let's go to Stephen Clarkey for his report on the weather this coming weekend.
Hi, I'm Stephen Clark with the weather report. On Friday, we'll have a high of 46, 42 and a low of 26. On Saturday, it's going to get a little snowy out, so maybe wear a jacket, because it'll be about 41, 26. And on Sunday, we get back to the nice partly cloudy weather. Luckily, we, don't, we won't get any snow. It'll be a high of 41 and a low of 24. We'll have the weather of about 40, like low 40s, high 39. High 30s around the 39 area, and it'll get colder as you go up north. And yeah, on Friday our precipitation will be around the 10 percent, 10 percentile area. So make sure you're wearing a jacket in case it snows a little bit. On Saturday we have a similar, very similar weather to Friday. You know, high 30s, low 40s. So make sure you're wearing your jackets. And make sure you're wearing your jackets on Saturday because it gets a little snowy out with around the 30s for the percentiles on precipitation. Back to you guys. Thanks, Steph, Stephen. We'll be back with more news right after this. You should take Project Lead the Way classes because it's hands-on experience of what can lead to a real-world career that has great opportunity. As a former student, it really gave me a great opportunity going into college and having that experience. Um, it really set me ahead of everyone else that was there and you know, it gave me college credit so I didn't have to retake any classes and now I'm working as an engineer here in Hudson. Welcome back. There has been a lot of action uh, in sports here at Hudson High. And now to Rowan for the sports report. Hello everyone, I'm Rowan Pruitt and here are the scores from this past week. Girls Swim and Dive at State Championship, 12th place. Good job, ladies. Football versus Marshfield, 138-26. Good job, guys. Oh, and now, to our report on the basketball team's winter preview. Today, I interviewed some basketball players to talk about basketball. So, here they are. Yo, so I'm here with Luke, and we're going to be talking about some basketball. So, have you learned any life lessons from basketball? Yes, yes. I think that I've learned to work hard through basketball. Wow, that, that was a great one. Okay, what music do you listen to pre-games? A lot of rap. Only rap. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and would you consider taking steroids if it would improve your game? <laughs> That's a tough one. I mean, I gotta say no, just because the camera's here. That's just not, not ethical. Okay, awesome. Thank you for your time. You. Okay. I'm here with Audrey Hatfield, and I'm going to ask some questions about basketball for the upcoming season. So, would you say you're more nervous or excited for the upcoming season? I'm excited. Yeah, I think we'll have a good team this year. So, um, yeah. Do you have any pre-game rituals you do, oh. like wear a special pair of socks before a game? Um, I get dressed in the same order every single time. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And who's the worst player on your team? <laughs> what kind of a question is that? Wow, that was pretty epic. Thanks for the update, Rowan and Alex. 
Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'm Austin. And I'm Josiah. And, and tune, tune in next time for another episode of HRPN, HRPN News. News.